Hey guys, welcome to part 4 of the EJ25 build for the 06 STI. Decided to do a short video today, uh, only a few things to do. We're gonna do the oil cooler, the tensioner bracket, and the thermostat. It's probably gonna be kind of boring. The next thing what I'm gonna be doing is the cylinder heads. And if I were to combine the two, uh, the things that I just mentioned, and the cylinder heads, that video would be much, much longer. So cylinder heads is for part five. And in this video, only the three things that I've mentioned. So as always, like, subscribe, comment. It actually helps me and motivates me to do more of these kind of videos. Okay, since we're down here, I'm gonna install this plug here. That's the coolant passage for the oil cooler. I'm gonna apply RTV. A little bit on the thread and a little bit just underneath. This is a 24 mil. So finger tight for now. I'm gonna come back to it later. So this is the oil cooler. When you look inside the walls on the, of the oil cooler, this, this, this part goes to the block. This outside wall is kind of tapered, so it's, it's wider on the edge, and the opening gets a tiny bit smaller as you go in. Same thing goes for the, or the seal. So the slightly thinner, it's slightly thinner on this side than on this side, so that's going to go inside first. But I'm going to apply a tiny bit of oil. Here we go, a little bit of oil. seal came out all right that's also a 24 I'm gonna leave it loose a little bit and fix the holes it's not gonna work Okay, I'm gonna pre-install the hose. Could not find any torque specs for this guy here, but this one here is supposed to be 40. This part holds my oil pressure sending unit and oil temperature. I already put oil, a thin film of oil here. Which I don't remember how this was. I'm just gonna put it like this for now. I don't remember how the exhaust manifold goes, where it sits. I hope it's not in the way. I can always twist it once the engine is back in the car. I'm gonna go 38 on this one. Oh, this is not a 24. All right, so this is a 27. It, I mean, this is not a 27, but my socket is a 27. So you can see it's loose, but it will do. I don't want this thing to twist. It's not good for the seal. How am I gonna do this? Right. Okay, we're back in front of the engine. A little correction. I've been reading through the service manual and it's telling me to put RTV on these three bolts on the oil pump. 
So that's what I'm going to do. I took one out already. The RTV goes on the threads. The torque was 9. It's actually 8.7. Okay, up next is this bracket here. What I've noticed on the bolt, there was some kind of like white glue. Could have been glue, I'm not sure. You see it a little bit here. So I'm just going to apply a tiny bit of blue glue. That's one. Blue is the weaker one. There's still red. Don't forget about these. This one I'm reusing. I put a new seal on this side. These are uh, dust seals. Don't know what the torque specs are. I just found out from online, not the service manual for some reason, what the t torque specs are for the tensioner bracket. And it's 18. All right, now let's do the thermostat. Of course, new seal. And you will notice there's a uh, this hole. It's through and through. This will always go on top. This is basically if, if any bubbles get trapped here, this will let them get through. Air bubbles, that is. All right, it looks like I need some oil on this on this seal. There we go. So 12 o'clock. The torque on these two is 8.7, I'm just going to do 9, notice I'm not torquing one all the way, I'm just switching between the two until keeping it even, until it gets a bit tighter.